My name is Yolanda Seely Ruiz. I'm an associate professor at Teachers College, Columbia University. I was born in the Bronx. My goal in life is to get those who want to be teachers and those who want to teach in so-called urban schools to get it right. My goal is to engage them into thinking about themselves and what their roles and responsibilities are in the classroom. What you believe about teaching has to come from what you believe about the children that you're supposed to teach and serve. And so if you don't do that work for yourself, how are you really going to be open to the stories and the lives of the students that you teach? When I think about my work, and specifically the work that I seek to do with those who are not yet teachers, so pre-service teachers, but I also work with in-service teachers, uh, there's a concept that one of my doctoral students helped me to uh, shape and define in my mind, and that's the archaeology of the self. And simply put, the archaeology of the self, like an archaeological dig, like a digging deep, like a peeling back of layers, is for the teachers to really think deeply about how these issues live in them. Issues of race, issues of class, issues of uh, religious practices, um, how they look at those who practice religions other than their own, um, how they look at those who have sexual orientations other than their own. Because for me, um, I believe that in order to teach someone, in order to be open to someone, um, and that really is what teaching is, to be open to other people's stories, that you have to know your own story, that you have to be aware of who you are, what you bring to the classroom, how you're going to interact with the children that you are there to serve. And if you're not open with your story, if you do not think deeply about how these issues live in you, you will just exact harm. You will traumatize. You will say racist things unless you really take time to understand, particularly if you're white, how you have been raised to be a racist if you're in this country. And if you're a person of color, how you may have uh, taken in internalized racism, how you uh, might be prejudiced you know, against those who look like you and others. And so this kind of deep work, I believe, has to be done before we can even begin to have someone take up theoretical practices or to examine your pedagogy. You know, I, I live in a space of hope because education is just that. And racism is, if I think about a tree, right, is deeply embedded in the roots of that tree. And so um, this is the work that we try to fight against, whether it's through racial literacy or culture responsive education. It really is the racism that is deeply threaded through our society and certainly schools are not unique.